Okay. Sometimes, like in the last video, scale factors are given to you as fractions, which is a ratio comparing corresponding sides of copies and original. Um, sometimes you're asked to do a percentage scale drawing or somehow work with a percentage, and that might throw you off. So let's just talk about that. First of all, here's a little shape. We'll just label the sides here, twos, fours, and ones. Okay, let's say you're supposed to make a 300% scale drawing of this. What's that mean? Well, first of all, you, not, you need to remember that 300% means that. It's actually a fraction, right? The fraction bar is the word per, and cent represents 100. So you can easily change any percentage into a fraction, which you want to do when we're working with scale factor. Okay, now I can simplify this by... Uh, we could basically divide top and bottom by 100, and we end up with a scale factor, which is a simplified fraction. Okay? That's what we need. Always simplified. Okay? So now, instead of thinking, oh, 300%, what is that? Now I have a scale factor of 3 over 1, and hopefully you remember from before, our first lesson with this, the copy is on the top, so that you can tell the copy is going to be three times bigger than the original here. So, if I take <clears throat> one side of the original, that's this one, and I want to make the copy, well, I'm going to take the scale factor times the side, gives me that same corresponding side, or the matching side, of the copy. So instead of 2, I'm going to have a 6 here. Okay. Now, obviously, we can do all this in our head. I know that 4 times 3 is 12, but we want to practice taking the scale factor, multiply it by a known side of the original, and we get 12. That's going to be the corresponding side of the copy. That's going to go down here. 3, 6. 9, 12. So the 1 is going to be a 3, and so on. But the thing to learn here, in a simple way when you can do all the math in your head, is simply multiply. If you're given a uh, percentage, change it to a fraction. This number goes over 100. Simplify that fraction. That's your scale factor. And then we just go back to our original learning idea from the last video, which is multiply the scale factor times any dimension of the original to get the corresponding dimension of the copy. Okay, now sometimes it's not so easy. Like this 300% example is super easy. Let's say you were asked to make a, uh, oh, I don't know, 400, uh, let's go 175% copy. Okay? And we'll do another example, too. So if I'm asked to make a, a copy that's 175% of the original, and let's just make up a little, little original here. If I'm going to make a 175% copy of that, well, I get rid of the percentage. I put it over 100 because that's what percent means. We're going to simplify this fraction. I know I can uh, divide top and bottom by 5. And I can do that again. Uh, divide by 5, divide by 5. Gives me 7 fourths. So the scale factor here this is a tricky one. The scale factor is 7 fourths. Okay? But it's easy enough to come up with the dimensions of my copy. That's my original. So I'm just going to take the scale factor times one side of the original. I get 21 fourths, which is 5 and 1 fourth. Okay? And I'm going to have to estimate here on my graph paper. But it's doable, right? 5 and 1 fourth.
And then I can also take uh, 7 fourths times my 2 up there. And that gives me 14 fourths, which is 3 and a half. I can make 3 and a half. Finish it off. There's my copy. Okay, so any percentage you make, just change it to a fraction, simplify the fraction, and no matter how scary it may look, you just go back to scale factor times the side of the original equals that corresponding side of the copy. Easy stuff. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.